All right, what's going on, guys? I feel like I've talked about this topic so much recently. Honestly, I'd even say too much. A couple more things even happened over the last couple days, and I was letting it go, but at this point, I gotta say something again, all right? I got one more in me, because I don't know what has gotten into these Twitch girls recently, but they just won't stop. It is just relentless. They will not give it up. They just keep pushing the limits further and further. Every time they do something, they get banned. They come back two, three days later, and now they're doing something even crazier. They get banned again. They come back two days later. They turned it up a notch again. They get banned. Oh, well, see you in two days. Like, what the hell is going on? I really don't know where all of this came from, but there is another new meta development. This is basically a continuation of the cutoff topless camera angle meta that we have been talking about for like the last month or so. This is basically like the next level of it, okay? They prestiged, okay? This is the new and improved. So as you can see, it's basically the same concept, but instead of cutting off the camera angle, they just put like a censorship bar. I actually have edited this image and I've made all the bars and stuff a little bit bigger and taken away a little bit of the extreme stuff from the screen for YouTube purposes because you YouTube is much stricter than Twitch and Kick. In the actual streams, the bars are a lot smaller. And if you send in a nice donation, they will put your name in the box. They do still write your name as well. I think that's for the special Ds that pay more. You know what I mean? If you're the biggest D, you might get your name on her body or whatever. But just for the rest of you peasants that are sending like $5 or whatever, your name goes in the box. So this is the current up-to-date meta as of December 22nd. And I honestly could not tell you if this is even allowed or not because I have some conflicting information. It's gotten to the point where everyone is so tired of this that now even guys are doing it and they're doing it like as a troll obviously because ain't nobody want to see that but just to see what happens some guys started doing it and I think to absolutely nobody's surprise a guy tried to do it and got banned instantly once again I have edited the bars to make it more YouTube appropriate the actual image is just covering his meat but this is just disgusting from Twitch man that's why I felt like I had to make another video talking about it because the double standard that we are witnessing here is just so blatant man I wish I could say I'm surprised but I'm not surprised at all. Is anyone surprised? You know, it's good to have some actual proof, but I feel like we already kind of knew this already. We knew this would happen, but it is still nice to see it. It's nice to have the evidence. I'm actually still a little bit confused on what exactly is or isn't allowed. I honestly feel like it's pretty random, right? It's just literally up to the, the team of moderators or whoever these people are that decide this, whatever they feel like doing that day, because there is no actual concrete method in fact let me go look right now hold on okay so I don't see anyone doing the black bar censorship meta I do see a girl doing the original cutoff camera meta someone needs to send her the updated formula she must have missed the memo to be fair it's 11 a.m. It is a little bit early, so not really the optimal time for these type of streams. I don't think any of them are, are morning streamers. This is more of a, a later in the day, late night type of stream. So maybe later today there will be some, but I don't really see any right now. But like I was saying, I don't know what exactly is and isn't allowed because obviously a man tried to do it and he got banned instantly. That was a big no-no. But referring back to the image that I was showing you earlier, these are the three biggest offenders of this meta. And I ain't saying any names in this video. You want your name said, you're gonna have to hit the PayPal for some promo. But the one on the left did not get banned. I'm pretty sure she is actually the one who started this whole revolution, okay? Like, she's like the Christopher Columbus of all of this. She discovered this shit, okay? And then the one in the middle did get banned, but y'all might actually recognize her. She used to stream on Twitch a while ago doing the ASMR stuff, probably some hot tub stuff as well. I don't really know. I'm pretty sure she was the one who went kind of viral for doing the ASMR fart streams. I can't believe I just 
said that sentence, but yes, if you remember that, that is her. She just recently came back. She was permabanned off Twitch for like two plus years, I think. She was like on kick. She just got unbanned on Twitch, and right away, she came in here and does this first thing, and then they insta-banned her again. She's probably permabanned again. I mean, you kind of have to blame Twitch on that one. Like, what did you think she was going to come back and stream? With some fucking Fortnite scrims? Maybe some Warzone? Like, what were you expecting her to come on here and do? You you know like come on we got to use common sense and then finally the girl on the right she's the one who kind of blew this whole meta up she went viral for getting banned for this i think this is like her third ban this month she's been banned like every week for the last few weeks it's a 48 hour ban every time and they just unban her every time and she's just right back to it it's fucking mind-blowing how can this even happen like you get banned one week unbanned 48 hours later you do the same thing again you get banned again the next week 48 hour ban you're back right again doing the same thing again they ban you again 48 hour ban and now what what's today the 22nd she gonna be back on like christmas morning unwrapping some presents and by presents i mean her asshole so like I, I don't know what the hell is going on is there any common sense being used by this twitch moderation team like do you have a single fucking brain cell between the team of you i don't think so because it just doesn't make sense and you kind of can't even blame these girls because these aren't real bans they're not getting a real punishment so like why would they stop what incentive do they have to stop when they're not getting punished because they're just going to keep making money off of this i don't even know what the point of these bans even are if they aren't going to be real bans like i I think it's so that Twitch can kind of play both sides. Like, they can continue profiting off these girls. And at the same time, they can pretend that they kind of care about this type of stuff. You know what I mean? They can say, oh, we banned them. We're so against it. But, like, come on, man. Obviously not. It, it, we aren't stupid. So, honestly, I don't know what the rules are. Some girls can get away with it. Some cannot. No guys can get away with it. If you are some other gender, maybe you could do it. I don't know. That's a wild card. Honestly, I would lean towards you would probably be safe. Because, you know, you could just say you identify more on the girl side or, you know, whatever you want to say there, there's a lot of options available and they'd probably be scared to ban you honestly if you did something like that so maybe go ahead and try that all i know is this has gotten beyond ridiculous I, I can't even predict what's next i don't know do you guys have any guesses let me know i will admit these girls got some creativity when it comes to this you know it's unfortunate that it's being used in this way but i will give some props man they keep coming up with new stuff you know what i mean to keep these little freaks happy i don't know who the hell is watching this I got to imagine there's only two types of people that would watch this, right? Like younger kids, not like super young. I'm talking like middle school, high school, you know, like 13 year old kids would be like super excited by this type of stream. You know what I mean? Because like they just starting to figure out like, oh, girls like, okay, what's up? You know what I mean? And then like old freaks, like 50 year old men who are just like fucking weird. They would be watching this. I feel like everybody else in between, like if you're like 25, you just hit up the hub. You'd rather just see that. Like, why would you watch this? That's stupid. Doesn't even make sense. I, I can see way better stuff than that. You know what I mean? I, why would I come to Twitch for that? It doesn't make sense. But that's just my guess, you know, if I had to make a guess on who the hell is enjoying this content. But anyways, that's pretty much it for the video. Y'all let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like rating if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not already. Follow me on Twitter. Links in the description down below. Check out my last video if you missed it. I don't know. It's, it's similar to this. So if you want more information on this type of stuff, check that video out if you missed it. Other than that, have a good day and peace out. You got a secret, like you victorious, I'm back on a Tuesday and fuck it feels glorious, I'm on the back beat, sipping in the back seat, listening to NSYNC, no, not back street, yes, I can get it on my mind, my own oh mind, while I'm waving at the window like bye, bye, bye.